Hello and welcome to Success Stories. Success Stories is that interview show where we talk to students of Excel Academy on how they pass the CS exam. And joining me today is Purna. Hello Purna. Namaste sir. So very good to see that you have passed CSCET. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Before we go ahead, uh, Purna is basically from Shumoga and Karnataka and now she is doing her LLB in JSS Law College. So first thing is it's a great combination LLB and CS but how did you first get to know about uh, CS and why did you take it up uh, one of my senior took CS uh, she cleared foundation that time it was only foundation correct so she told me that I uh, of this uh, if you want to go in a corporate field it's very useful to you and then in orientation program of our co college i researched about excel academy so i mixed up the all i took this cs okay very good so you did your uh, plus 2 in commerce yeah in commerce and took up uh, llb 5 year llb along with that you have taken cs yeah. so before we even uh, under, understand about uh, how you pass cs it or how you study it first question is like uh, the time yeah college has its own commitment and also there was a mix of online offline and cseet definitely cseet is not as difficult as executive but it needs study yeah. all everything is new for you so how did you manage college commitment and this uh, i used to come at 5:30 evening at uh, from college and uh, I was doing some college work still then, and early morning I wake up, wake up up very early, and uh, evening also I was studying for CSET. I just did one month preparation for that, so uh, so I like for one month no, there is no lot of time, so I just put morning and evening wholly for CSET. Okay, so with dedicated effort, even one month of preparation is good enough to pass CSET, and. We have uh, Purna, who is the example over here. Yes. Did you have any common subjects between LLB and CSE? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, corporate uh, company law. Okay. Uh, so company law and business communication, uh, they both we have in our LLB also in uh, CSE also. To be honest, I didn't read that much only for that. Okay. Uh, my faculties, college faculties were uh, prepared for me for that. Okay, very good. So if anybody is uh, doing LLB, I think CS is a great option because you do have lot of common subjects. in the cs eet level itself as you go ahead you'll have many common subjects even in yeah. executive program it's a great combination now coming to cs eet we had this four subjects in that four subjects which was a little uh, challenging for you and how did you tackle uh, it for me economics in plus 2 i i chose statistics i didn't read the economics okay, okay. for me economics only very hard and my seniors were by looking that cs eet syllabus like economics and business environment is quite hard for me so i just put lot of time for that for studying but it was easy like excel academy tutorial video it was very easy for me they teached okay. very well so coming to that like uh, how did you decide to take up the coaching because some student tell self study is also good for cs eet but why did you take coaching uh, like uh, i just decided like only one month uh, left for cs eet so i thought some coaching would be help me and uh, i just contacted my senior and uh, my one of the faculty of my college and they said CA, uh, excel academy is very good and i just opt for this and uh, i get uh, free crash course uh, very uh, honestly it was very nice and i clear economics was very easy for me rather than other subjects when i see these videos okay very good excellent so now law the company law is there in uh, llb and also in cs but the angle is little different when we study in yeah. uh, cs there yeah, it yeah. is more of jurisprudence and the overall uh, theory of law here it is directly into the sections and practical procedures yeah yeah so that part how did you approach uh, actually uh, first company i thought uh, they it would be same first i thought but it was not so i just referred the book uh, what syllabus they have sent icsi they have mm. sent i referred that and uh, i just referred some textbook and all and uh, of course that coaching was there so yeah it was uh, quite hard in here only so some sections we have to remember and yes. all uh, the main coach they will ask the sections only in the questions so yeah it was nice when i took the coaching and all then did you uh, try to take any mock test before the exam yeah uh, i i took uh, one mock test and it was not very nice uh, i took another mock test it was very nice so yeah uh, we can't decide anything from mock test it is quite it is wholly different from the exam 
so if you if we take the mock test is very good we can we will uh, grow up some confidence in us so like this it will come okay we can manage the timings timings is very important in cset we, we won't have that much time so in mock test we will get some time yeah so it is like once you practice it is very good in your final yeah. exam now coming to a subject like uh, logical reasoning hmm. that we don't study in uh, plus 2 and now suddenly we have logical reasoning so many student ask why do we have logical reasoning see law is basically logic and then you have the other provision so if you are not good with your logical reasoning law will always be difficult and it's a good subject which they have added so how did you study this logical reasoning did you practice the problems was there anything different which you did uh there were some problems like uh, numbers problems it was there with me in law first sem uh, okay. so the numbering was very easy coding that was very easy for me Uh, rather than the timing uh, there was on time and all logic it was quite tough there were some formulas we have to apply and all so i took some coaching videos and actually logical reasoning is quite tough but if we think it is tough means it is but if we study hard for that we should uh, give like it is our uh, ability what we will think and how much our capacity is it is so i think uh, we have to give some lot of time for logical reasoning right. rather than other subject it exactly. is easy but for seeing first it is quite tough so how was the classes of vishwas of logical reasoning it was very nice uh, the formula and we didn't know how to calculate the timing and all they're saying how much degree it is and all mm -hmm. we didn't know so he used some formulas and the same formula we used in the exam so it was very easy for us yes so just in case if somebody is watching this we also have a free crash course on youtube itself where vishwas sir has taught entire logical reasoning you can see it in our playlist and you can uh, watch it if you are writing the upcoming cset exam so now coming back to now that you gave lot of time for logical reasoning students tend to ignore the business communication part in english we know from first standard we are studying <laughs> no. but this is little different yeah. so tell us about that business communication it's all about like uh, latin words and all if they ask everything like non uh, non english it's not completely english So basically the legal maxims yeah which basically is legal maxims uh, like there are until 200 legal maxims are there if there but it's not it is not necessary for study all like if you take some mock test and all you will get to know which part is very important so don't ignore business uh, communication it is just english it is not just english it yes. uh, involves so many uh, other types and first you will get only grammar part is there but when you enter to the business communication it is totally different world right so of course grammar is important and uh, you need to know the basics but like she told it is not just grammar and even for uh, business english uh, we have meenala ma'am's classes which is again on youtube uh, which is the basic crash course for the full course obviously you can uh, get in touch with us if you want the full course you can go to the description below now coming back to uh, now now that you have passed cset and you are also in llb and i can completely understand because i have gone through a similar thing llb and mm. cs it will get more difficult to manage cs and llb so how are you planning for your executive uh, so uh, like uh, i have to dedicate i have to plan for first i have planned just now is uh, i have to balance both my in my head i have to balance very both very nicely so first uh, at all i have to take some online classes uh, so i will take and i will give completely time when i am taking the classes so uh, rather than that okay one two to three hours i can give for my uh, other llb studies for except that uh, we need we have to um, go much pressure in uh, cs so i think i have to give lot of for cs and uh, so which do you find more uh, challenging cs or llb when you study actually llb now i am adjusting for that llb course so okay. now i don't know how it feel now it is quite easy for me so for me the challenge is cs executive now i yes. don't know how it will appear and uh, my seniors are telling like you it will be quite tough not that that much but i have to concentrate on this right very good uh, because the llb with cs is a great combination so if you are a student who is doing bcom with cs don't think that is bad that is equally good but just that in llb and uh, cs you have lot of common subjects and we study about corporate law in cs and in llb you study all civil law criminal law corporate law every other law including nowadays we have sports law aviation law everything yeah. is there we study all of that but since both are law you have lot of common factors and it becomes easier but some subjects like financial management mm. accountancy taxation some of the bcom students find easier 
but in uh, somebody like purna's case that's a great combination the course is bba llb so it is not uh, uh, only the ba subjects it is the bba llb bachelor of business administration and llb so you will have even more overlapping almost 70% will be overlapping yeah and some subjects will be more in depth in cs that is mm. natural so how was your uh, uh, parent reaction when you first told first of all you are taking cs along with llb because nowadays some parents tell no no you just do one mm, course yeah. that is one thing and how did they feel once you cleared the exam uh actually i was just prepared for one month back uh, to be honest for this csat i just told my parents that i will take this exam and i think if i pass i will go on if i won't means i will leave this so <laughs> okay. for me that was so my father also said if you pass go if you if you fail just leave that actually parents should not do that they have to support again <laughs> there will be july exam you are you can try that again so but for me for mindset me also i was ready for that only so i passed this and if and uh, uh, before the results and all if i go, because economics was quite tough for me for this time also so if uh, this was this this will be become fail i was ready to uh, apply again in july okay yeah, i was good. ready it was because very nice because you are nice. sure you want to be a company yeah, secretary yeah. that when i entered to this field i was completely sure i want to become okay you want to become a company yeah. secretary regardless of what happens to yeah. result so that's a very good attitude For everyone who is watching it, because many students tend to give up very early, uh, but if you have a clear goal, it may take three years to five years. Generally, this is the thing. You go ask any company secretary; most of them will say it took three to five years. Some took even six, seven, eight years. But it really doesn't matter because for your entire career ahead, it's a great platform of being a professional. And professional courses demand your uh, study, but you get the results throughout your life. So were your parents surprised when you cleared or Yeah they are very much surprised <laughs> Okay So I said uh, they said But I'm sure they'll be happy uh, that yeah, you Yeah they are very you. happy for this Excellent very good So now how confident are you for executive program It's a very challenging for me so I'm very confident uh, so I I will um, put my effort as much as I can So we will meet you again in another interview when you pass executive uh, yeah, So I think that should drive you to yeah. study well Yeah yeah Okay great Purna So that was Purna who is studying BBA LLB which is a 5 year law course along with company secretary and she has cleared CSET and ready to take the CS executive and this is recorded so you will come again after you pass executive yeah for the student success stories yes sir so this is uh, CS success stories and today's episode was with Purna if you too want to succeed like her make sure you follow our channel and if you want any help for your CS exams you can get in touch in the form below or you have a link of whatsapp in the description below and we will get back to you we have a free one to one counseling on how you can become a company secretary and for more such episodes subscribe to this channel please give a thumbs up if you want to encourage purna and all the best for your exams i will see you in the next episode